Hi, I'm Mike Civic from Eastwind Martial Arts. Welcome back to our virtual dojo channel. Happy New Year! Happy 2021! Thank you again for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Today I want to continue on with Saifa Kata in more detail. So last time we finished off after the third back fist. So we're going to move on to this middle part here. Okay, we're just going to stop right before the double punches. So one of the most difficult techniques to get power on is this knee kick find. So the secret to get more power, to help with your balance, is to load the hip first. So if we're picking up our right foot, and opening our hip to the right. Before we do that, we want to load our hip to the left. So we're done stepping forward now. Our back foot comes up in line with our front foot. We're going to load our hip to the left, and then we're going to open it up to the right and do our knee kick. Combine that with the hand movement. It gives you more power. And then front kick. And then we do the same thing the other way. Load the hip to the right, and then open your hip to the left. Here, and then front kick. And that's a good combination to just repeat. Okay, so besides loading the hip, okay, we load the hip. We want to push off the ground with our back foot. Okay, and get power in our knee kick. Do the hands. Pause after the knee kick, and then front kick. Change sides, load the hip, and then same thing, knee kick, pause, and then front kick. And then we pull in, and we do the next move. Okay, so a couple things here. Step in line with the front foot, keep that back fist arm, the front arm in front, where it is. Load the hip to the left. You're going to look to the right on the first kick. Do your knee kick, pause, and then front kick. And then you're going to look to the left. Okay, load your hip to the right. Bring that knee up. Look to the left. And then fire at the kick. <clears throat> so, loading the hip, pushing off the ground. Like we do in many of our, in our yoga windows, in our warm-ups, and uh, looking to the side, all right? And that's for, that's because of the bunkai. So <clears throat> when we're doing this technique, our opponent is actually, we'll show this in a future video, is actually to your side. It's not in front of you. All right, so, talked about the feet, the hands, front hand's gonna stay where it is, right hand stays where it is, opens, it almost touches your left arm, almost touches your right leg, and then blocks low. Looking to the side in which you're doing the low block up. That kick, change, now your right, your left hand almost touches your right arm, almost touches your left leg, and then we look to the left. Knee kick, pause, front kick. Then we would look to the front, pull in, and carry on with the next sequence of movements, which will be in the next video. All right, so, <clears throat> good combination. Load the hip, push off the ground, kick, other side, and then just repeat. Change, and so on and so on. Hope that helps. You know, that's a hard kick to develop power on, but loading the hip really makes all the difference. So, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're on the push to get to a thousand subscribers this year. I think we can do it in the early part. So, thank you again for subscribing. If you know anybody else who might be interested, please share the videos. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.